I'm here at ITU Telecom World 2012 in Dubai, and I'm very pleased to be joined by Ulf Evaldson, who is CTO of Ericsson. Ulf, thank you very much for being with us today. Thank you, Max. I'd like to start off by talking about debates at ITU Telecom World 2012 have been focusing on the current radical transformation of the ICT mm. sector and its implications for the industry and, and the world in which we live. What, for you, is the principal opportunity arising from this transformation? Well, the ICT sector is certainly going under a big transformation. It's the merger of several industries at the same time that is providing the opportunity. It's the telecom industry really merging with the datacom industry and merging with the mediacom industry. This is giving uh, a new landscape, if you will, that is providing new opportunities for operators to create new services. And it means also that the networks become the platform of innovation. And this is really what is important to discuss here in ITU, to be able to see what ICT can bring and what ICT can help transform not only in terms of business opportunities, but also becoming the backbone of society. Uh, and here is where, where, uh, where both the private sector and, and, the, and the public sector can come together and discuss those opportunities. I also think, and I want to mention that to you, uh, Ericsson has been uh, around for 136 years. And of course, we have seen transformations over the time. If I look in the history book of our companies, I see big changes happening over time. I think that the moment we are in now, we are going to be enjoying as the slowest moment in the industry. Because from now on, the pace is going to be just higher and higher of transformation. And what particular challenges are companies like Ericsson facing in, the, in this world? Well, it's very much to be able to provide that platform of innovation that I was talking about. We have today uh, reached more than 6.3 uh, billion mobile subscriptions with about more, a little bit more than 4 billion subscribers having those, which many subscriptions per person. Uh, Datacom is becoming the true traffic in the networks. Um, it will grow 15 times in the next five years to come. Already now, the average uh, user uh, for each smartphone is more than 500 megabytes per month, and that will grow to more than one uh, gigabyte per month in the next five years. That big transition will require the industry to change the business model. We're moving from a voice-centric business model. Everyone knows that. It is changing. And we need to find ways to monetize data. And monetizing data is then going to provide us with the, the growth opportunity industry that we need to keep investing and build that platform of innovation that we want to build. So what's your, your vision or your response to overcoming these challenges and taking advantage of the opportunities that are available now? Well, I think technology certainly has a very big role to play here. And Ericsson, as a technology leader, are investing uh, more than five billion uh, US dollars, actually, in, uh, annually in, in R&D. And there we see technologies in the radio access network, for instance, to cater for all the traffic growth that we're going to have to take care of, but also now very much in the IP network and the introduction of new technologies such as uh, SDN, software defined networking, the separation between the control and carrier plane, as well as introducing media into our industry and look at these networks as the true carrier of media. Uh, we've discussed here already this morning in ITU uh, how broadcasting industry comes together with the telecom operator industry creating something new where most of the material going around in these networks will really be media. Talking about coming together, why is an event like this, ITU Telecom World 2012, an important event for you? Well, ITU provides a great platform for people from government, regulators, the public sector, if you will, to come together with private sector, which is really represented by operators, by vendors such as ourselves, and discuss what we believe the new ICT will really be about. It's both going to be about uh, regulatory measures to make sure that there is enough spectrum, etc., to keep the growth going in the industry, but also to really see what ICT can provide for society. To build a sustainable society in the future, ICT will play a major role. Ufe Valtson, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Thank you very much, Max, for having us.